Hey guys, Bridget here. In this video, we're going to talk about uh, a very interesting topic and uh, something which uh, is, um, I would say, undervalued in some instances, and that is to create the presentations in Figma. Now, the tools for presentations, which uh, is my preference these days, uh, it's uh, Canva, but uh, I think that Figma is uh, really useful in uh, certain specific scenarios, especially when you need to create some visuals which uh, are very advanced uh, and uh, maybe the, you need uh, some uh, infographics uh, or advanced uh, visuals and in that case uh, Figma is uh, my tools of uh, choice and uh, over here we have this uh, template and you're going to see in just a moment uh, how you can create uh, presentations and uh, uh, use Figma uh, in a very easy way. So over here, I created this uh, very short uh, presentation using this uh, Bricks template, which my personal opinion looks really nice. I'm going to leave the link in the description, uh, although I have no affiliation and this is uh, a free <clears throat> community file. And uh, what you can do in order to present uh, um, in Figma, simply going over here in the top right, click on present, and you're going to see that a new tab is going to open and over here we have our presentation. So it's very easy to use, very simple and you can use both the keyboard shortcuts our right or left in order to go through the presentation. But in practice, I don't think this is the best way to go after it. You could also click, but the easier way would be to download the Figma for iOS mobile app. And although this is a screen share, essentially what this app is going to enable you to do is to simply click and you can go through the presentation uh, almost like uh, having a clicker and you don't need a physical one, you just need your phone. So. It's going to be very easy for you to present anything in Figma in a very fast and easy way. Uh, just one point of consideration is that you're going to need to have the artboards aligned in a specific way in order for this to work. And you can always use the Shift plus A auto layout in order to change the layout of the presentation and make it horizontal or vertical in just a few seconds. So hope this video was helpful and I want to remind you that on my channel you're going to find hundreds of videos on Figma tutorials so feel free to check it out and I'll see you in the very next video.